Hi there, my name is Caitlin Joblin and I am the recruiter for Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics in San Antonio and Austin. Today, I would love to talk to you a little bit about the opportunities that we have available for you. So uh, just kind of a quick overview of what we're looking at so you know what's coming up. Um, first and foremost, who is Jefferson Dental, right? Jefferson is a company that was started in 1967 with a single branch in Dallas, and our primary goal was to bring oral health care to the underserved community by educating the community and community outreaches, and by finding financial assistance programs that made health care and oral health accessible to people who previously would not have been able to access it. Um, over the last 55 years, we've expanded down into Houston, and then over into San Antonio, up through Austin, and even into Oklahoma this past year. So we are currently a national dental organization, but primarily, first and foremost, in the most basic way possible, we are a multi-specialty dental practice determined to provide the best comprehensive dental care to each of our patients while creating that five-star patient experience for them. If you look a little bit around that slide, you can kind of see we do have general dentistry and hygiene. So our hygienists, this one's for you, in all of our offices. We also have cosmetic dentistry, pediatric dentistry, and orthodontics. So we use Invisalign and traditional brackets as well as Invisalign Go, which is like Invisalign light gets done faster. Um, we are looking for people who exemplify our four core values. So we are looking for people who are caring, they are positive, they have a willingness to learn, and they are patient experience obsessed. If you are a people person, this is a, a position for you. If you enjoy helping people, getting to know people and building connections, our office is a great place to do that. More specifically, we're looking for treatment coordinators, patient concierges, dental assistants or externs, and hygienists. Um, I know my hygiene's not on this slide, but I'm happy to touch on that for you and would love to answer questions if you want to shoot me an email when we're done. But our treatment coordinators are going to be the people who sit down with the actual treatment plan and our patients and talk about what parts of that are primarily most important, what do we need to get going on, what can sit back if it's a little out of budget, and talking to our patients about how to make things possible for them so they can get the health care they need without putting themselves in a hard position financially or scheduling wise, things of that nature. Our patient concierge is much more of a customer service. You don't need dental experience for that. Um, you are greeting our patients, you're helping schedule and confirm their appointments, you're helping them take care of any paperwork questions they may have, and you're passing them back to the dental assistants and making sure they feel welcome and at home in the office. You are the first and last impression my patients get. So if you're a bubbly, outgoing kind of person, this is the spot for you. We're looking for dental assistants or externs. So to come on as a dental assistant, you do have to have taken your state board exam already um, and passed that to be a full dental assistant with us. We do have trainee positions. So if you are currently working on becoming a dental assistant and you want to join us, but you haven't taken that state board exam yet, we do have a spot for you as well where you can get some in-office on um, in office, hands on, there we go, training into that position. We offer externships at both of our offices, uh, North Lamar and on William Cannon. So we have one in Northern Austin and one in Southern Austin. And then we also have positions for hygienists. Um, our hygienists start at $55 an hour and they make their own schedule. We'll get to scheduling in just a second, but um, you start at $55 an hour and there are bonus structures in place to grow that and you make your own schedule. So if you don't want to work five or six days a week, you set which days work for you and which times work and we make that happen in the office for you. So you have that autonomy as a hygienist to really build your career the way you'd like to. So why Jefferson? Right. It's great if I tell you all the good things we're doing for our patients, but why join our team if we're not doing great things for our team as well? So everybody loves money, right? Everybody loves a good bonus. Um, we have monthly bonus potential for every person in our office and our monthly bonus potential is up to $800 for all of our dental assistants, our um, treatment coordinators, our patient concierge. And our hygienists have a bonus structure as well. It's a little bit different than the one for our hourly team, team members, but there is a bonus in place for everyone. If you are creating the culture and the environment for the team and the patients that we are after, we believe that you should be rewarded for that in more ways than just enjoying coming to work. 
Um, we also have a merit-based, clearly drawn out career path for all aspects of our office. So if you come in as a patient concierge and your goal is to be a general manager, I have a career path lined out that I can provide you in writing that says exactly what you need to do to get to that point in your career and what steps along the way we can help you with. If you're a dental assistant just coming into the field and you know that you are doing general dentistry, but you want to learn orthodontics and hygiene, or you want to go back to school later and become a hygienist, or you want to become a trainer for other dental assistants, I have a written out career path for what you need to do to get there and how we're going to help support you to do that. Um, we help you get any of the other certifications that you need to move up. We train you on um, on the job while you're with us, we're going to train you and we're going to help you grow that as much as you'd like to grow your career. So if you get in and you're like, I love running the front office, I'm great at it. I want to know my patients, but I'm going to hang right here. We've got the spot for you there. If you get in and you're hungry for more than that, and you want to build that career out, you're just getting into your professional career. We want to help you build that as well. We do provide insurance for all of our team members that are with us full time. And that is going to include your medical, your dental, your vision, but we also have things like mental health care and, of course, all of the short-term, long-term, um, accidental death and dismemberment, all the good things, right? The insurance is there after your first 60 days with us. Like I mentioned before, we're going to train you and help you grow that career while you're on the job with us. So if you are a dental assistant fresh out of school and you're nervous because you didn't do much more than sterilization in your externship, we're going to train you in office so that you are confident and comfortable in what you're doing. If you are very great with your customers, but you want to work on building that professionalism of an office setting instead of um, some of the other industries you've gotten customer service experience in, we're going to help train you up in that office setting and help you with maybe the dental side because you already have the patient care side. Um, and then our team culture, we work really hard to make our offices somewhere that our people want to be. If my people on my teams are thriving and supported and happy, my office will also be happy and thriving and successful. So we create a culture by giving you those opportunities to grow your own career, but also by doing some team building stuff and by having competitions where you can win cookies and pizza every now and then and giving you the days off where you can balance your work-life balance and make that happen. Um, we really push to make it a place where our people want to be just as much as our patients. So what's your schedule going to look like? We are open six days a week. So we are open Monday through Saturday. Saturday is our busiest day. So typically all of our offices are Saturdays, all hands on deck, but it's a shorter day. So you're going to be in office at 845 until 4 p.m. on Saturday. My slide shows nine. That's when your patients arrive. So every time you see on my slide right now, you're going to get there 15 minutes beforehand um, so you can do your morning huddle, know what's coming for the day, what your patients look like, all of that good stuff where you guys are crushing it on your goals for the month, what you guys can work on a little bit or touch up a little bit to get closer to that goal during that month, things of that nature. Um, while we're open on Saturdays, you're not going to work a six day work week. So you'll get every Sunday off where we are closed. And then you will also get one day off during the week, just depending on the schedule in your office. And that is something you can talk to your general manager about directly, and they will help you work on that. We work really hard to make that a consistent day. So if you're like, I really want Tuesdays, Tuesdays are my jam. We were going to make sure that as often as possible, you are off on Sunday and Tuesday so that you can schedule out things you need to schedule out and kind of plan your life accordingly, have that consistency there. You'll notice on those hours of operation that I have two sets of hours for every day. That's because we close for lunch every single day that we're open. So we are not scheduling any appointments from 1230 to 1.30 on um, Monday through Friday. Saturdays, we aren't scheduling any appointments from 1230 to one. It's a shorter day. So unfortunately, lunch is a little shorter as well to make sure we can get all of our patients taken care of. But you have a built in lunch break. So you are never going to be scrambling to kind of stuff your face real quick before you have to get back into an operatory with a patient. That's not good for you. And it's not good for the patients. So we make sure you have that built in lunch break as well. You can see the two addresses of our two locations at the bottom of my slide. I mentioned them earlier, but we do have one on William Cannon and we have one up on North Lamar. So um, depending on where you're located in Austin, 
Those are our two Austin offices. If you are looking to transfer out of Austin, we also have 11 offices in San Antonio. We've got two in Oklahoma. We have 36 between Dallas and Fort Worth. And then we have an additional 25, I believe, in the Houston area. So we have lots of places for you to be able to grow and expand that career, even if you decide Austin's great for right now, but what if I want to move somewhere? We want to take you with us. We want you to take us with you where you land so that we can keep growing that for you. All of it sounds good. If you're interested, first thing you need to do is get started. So there's a link here that you can click or you can go to that website that's listed, jeffersondentalclinics.com, and you can check out the careers page. That is going to show you all of the opportunities that we currently have open in all of our areas. So you can um, make it down into just Austin where you close out everything else. You can't see anything except Austin. Or if you're interested in that movement, you can always expand your search and see what's available for you in other regions um, and where you'd like to go from there. You are more than welcome to shoot your resume or any questions that you have over to me. Again, my name is Caitlin Joblin. My email is up on screen. I'm easily reachable at cjoblin at jdcweb.com. Um, I am in office Monday through Friday, but my email is on my phone. So I'm one of those people where if you send me an email at nine o'clock on Saturday, I'm probably going to see it and respond to you Sunday morning because I don't know if you want your phone to go off that late. Um, but I won't bother you in the evening, but I will see your email in the evening and get back to you first thing the next day, even if it's on the weekend, I'm pretty good about checking those things. But again, Jefferson Dental Orthodontics would love to grow your career with you. Would love to have you join a team that's fast paced and, um, just really looking to create a great culture. So I look forward to hearing from you soon.